Hey, hey, y'all, and welcome back. Welcome if you're new. I'm Tiffany, and this is our small town life. Welcome to my kitchen. Today, we are going to cook a crock pot recipe together, crock pot beef stew. If you're not new around here, then you know that we are in a busy season of life trying to get settled in our new home. Baseball season just started. Lots of things going on, so the crock pot has been my friend. And today, I'm excited to share this recipe with you. Beef stew is also one of those things that I love year-round. Cold outside, hot outside, I love me some beef stew. It just feels homey and cozy to me. So I love it year round. That's what I'll be sharing with you today, a crock pot beef stew recipe. Today's video is also a collab with Amy from Our Blessed Family. Amy has been a supporter of our family and our channel for a long time now. And several months back, I got to watch her start her own channel. And she had said, maybe one day we can collab together. And it's worked out that we can do that now. I told her I'd be honored to do that. So here we are doing a crock pot recipe collab today. After you get done watching my video, make sure you go check hers out. Send her some love. Let her know that I sent you over. And if you're coming from Amy's channel, hello and welcome. We sure are happy to have you here. Consider subscribing before you leave today. We would love to have you. Now, without further ado, let's get on in to today's video. I feel like beef stew is one of those things that you can get really elaborate with or you can keep it simple and I'm going to keep it simple boat so I'm getting some carrots potato and onion ready that's the vegetables that I put in my beef stew I've used celery before but I don't always do that I am also using organic carrots so that I don't have to bother peeling them I just wash them up and get them sliced You'll also notice as we're cutting up the vegetables for this recipe, Audrey comes in and helps me in a minute too. As we're cutting up these vegetables, we keep them pretty chunky. If you like yours finer, then you could absolutely do that. That's the beauty of cooking in your own kitchen. You do what you like to do, but we like a chunky beef stew. Y'all, I've had to adjust to wearing glasses and cutting up onions. It doesn't bother me when I wear my contacts, but I've been wearing glasses a lot lately, and that onion, it was getting me. You'll see in a second, Audrey actually came in and cut the potatoes up for me because I was struggling with my eyes watering after cutting that onion. I'm going to go ahead and get those carrots and onion into the crock pot, and then there's Audrey getting our potatoes ready. To use this McCormick slow cooker beef stew seasoning pack it's just always worked out well for us and made a delicious beef stew so that's what I keep using now on the back of it it says to use I think it's one and a quarter cups of water but I always use two to two and a half cups of water that's just what I found that we like go ahead and dump that into the water and get it mixed around and get it poured over our vegetables On this particular day, it was a little bit cool outside. It's sunny and it looks beautiful, but it was a little bit cool. I 
I always check my meat while I'm putting it into the crock pot just to make sure there's no pieces that need to be trimmed up or pieces that are too big and need to be cut down. This meat was actually very good. Now it was on like need to use it <laughs> status. It was ready to be used, needed to be used on this day. But overall, I didn't have to trim much off of this meat. It went right in the crock pot. We'll pour that liquid over the top, add a little salt and pepper, and it will be good to go on low for about eight hours. Here's a little peek at what it looks like about halfway through cooking and now you're gonna see me working on some sourdough bread we had some sourdough with this meal and I filmed that process as well it'll be coming out later this week it was an artisan crusty loaf of sourdough it's been my favorite way to use my sourdough starter and to make sourdough bread here lately and yeah that'll be coming soon so be on the lookout for that And here was our beef stew when it was all finished. All of our vegetables were nice and tender, but not mushy. The meat, y'all, it was falling apart. It was so tender. Delicious. Incredibly simple, y'all. It, it literally took 10 minutes to throw everything in the crock pot and get it going. And it is a delicious, delicious home-cooked meal. For cooking with us thank you for spending some time with us today hope you enjoyed it i sure enjoyed sharing it with you don't forget to go check out amy's video link down in the description box if you haven't seen it already i love you guys i appreciate you and i'll see you tomorrow bye y'all